Hello and welcome back to Coding Game of Life in Ruby. And the last video we defined this cell grid with these array inception thingy here and we have defined the new cell class. Um, in this video we're going to expand on this cell class and start implementing the rules of the game. But before that let's just clarify what this cell grid actually is. So this first array uh, new rows defines an array with as much elements as there are rows and we have specified the default value it is 3 so this first line does this okay um, let us just write each of these elements on a separate um, line so that you can kinda understand that this is going to be transformed into a two-dimensional grid Okay, this is still what first line produces. Uh, when we introduce the second line, this array new columns, it is going to um, create a new array on place of each of these nil elements from the first array. And this array is going to have as much elements as there are columns. Again, the default value is 3. So the product is going to look like this. Okay. Um, so this is the product of a uh, these t two arrays. It looks like this. Is it? And as you can see, this is a two-dimensional grid. Okay. This is like a tic-tac-toe nine fields. Okay. Um, and um, in place of each of these elements within this second array, meaning in place of each of these nil, we're going to initialize a new cell object. And this then is going to look like this. So I'm just going to substitute this uh, nil with a cell new object in these comments so you can kind of grasp it, it looks like this. Okay. So this cell this cell grid has nine cells. Okay. Hope that is clarified. And now let us expand on this cell object. Uh, as we rem remember from the sketch, uh, each cell is either alive or dead, so each cell should have some alive method which defines that state. Uh, let's first write the test. It should respond to uh, proper methods and subject, meaning cell new, should respond to alive and it doesn't since we haven't coded it yet but we can easily code it with adder accessor alive and now the the test is passing and upon initialization of the cell um, we should make the cell default to a dead cell okay so defi define initialize and, uh, and that alive should equal false and let's just comment this out and write the test first for it um, it should initialize <laughs> properly okay the end <laughs> okay it should initialize properly the so subject that alive should be false. Okay. And now it is passing. Although I haven't specified uh, that the alive is false. Why is this happening? I have no idea. Does it default? Let, let us explore this. Uh, this a bit. Okay, so this defaults to false even though we do not specify it in the initialize method, which is kind of interesting. But nevertheless, this this does make sure that um, alive is actually false. Um, let us check this uh, in an IRB just to make sure we, uh, we understand it and let's load the uh, game of life rb file uh, which this command has loaded all the logic from here and let us just initialize a new world 
object. As you can see, the new world object has been initialized with a bunch of cells. Okay, so this cell, this cell, this cell, this cell. Pretty much what you'd expect as we have uh, explained in this comment here. Okay, but the part that worries me is that I do not see this live uh, attribute defaulting to false here. Uh, let us first try to initialize a new cell. And new shell is initialized, but again, no alive thingy is here. Let us uh, run IRB one more time and load it and like initialize a cell. As you can see now, the cell attribute alive is false now uh, when we have explicitly specified it here. So this is a proper way to write this code. Um, and this is the way it should be. Um, let's clear this okay so now we uh, when we in initialize a cell it is uh, by default a dead cell and since a cell is um, within a con context of a cell grid it would be extremely convenient if we would uh, immediately get the coordinates of that cell so upon initialization a cell should uh, have some x and y coordinates. So let's run the test for it. It should initialize properly. Subject, subject, uh, x should, oh sorry, subject should respond to x and y. Okay. And let us run the test. Uh, the test failed because there is no x. Uh, alive x and y and the test uh, all tests should be passing okay so I think that's it for this video in the next video we're going to expand on this x and y coordinates and connect um, these x and y coordinates with in this cell uh, grid uh, init instance variable so hold tight and see you in a few seconds